Proudly we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Army and your Air Force to bring you this story, as proudly we hail the Women's Army Corps. There's an old saying that one picture is worth 10,000 words. This is the story of a picture worth a lot more than that, a picture worth a million dollars, and of a photographer, a girl, who thought up the picture and wanted to take it. Our story today is called Portrait of a Soldier, and you'll find out about it in a moment. About the girl photographer, Private Marion Bliss of the Women's Army Corps. But first... Have you noticed the new trim whack uniform worn by the young women who are serving in the Women's Army Corps? This new uniform not only stamps the wearer as being smartly dressed, it also indicates that she is doing her part to keep America strong. If you are a young woman between 18 and 34 and can qualify, you are urged to do your part in making unity, strength, freedom a reality. Go to your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station and enlist in the Women's Army Corps today. And now your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production Portrait of a Soldier. Recognize that sound? It's the sound a picture makes being sent by wire to press services and newspaper offices all across the country. This is the story of such a picture a picture worth a million dollars, and of a girl who thought it up and wanted to take it. She looked like a million bucks, too, in her whack uniform. That was Don Ludlow, top photographer for the New York Chronicle. Ludlow was borrowed by the Army to serve as a civilian instructor at the Photographic Center at Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, where he taught members of the Women's Army Corps in the Still Photography and Photo Lab course. One of the women there was Private Marion Bliss, a useful and ornamental member of Uncle Sam's Army. When Marion entered my class, she wasn't very useful to the photographic center because she'd just finished her basic training and didn't know a shutter from a Venetian blind. But I guess you could call her ornamental. That is, if you happen to like lively brown eyes, trim ankles, and the kind of figure you see on calendars. Uh, you don't? Who doesn't? But uh, Marion had fiery red hair. Uh, I know lots of... Uh, well, never mind. Uh, what's wrong with that? Well, Marion had a fiery red temper to match. I should have known. I remember the day I found out. It was about two weeks after Marion arrived at Monmouth. He was determined to be a demon photographer in six easy lessons. I was explaining to my class the value of using your head to save your film. Now, uh, this shot seems to be of a bear in a zoo. It was a polar bear in Central Park Zoo. He was yawning, Mr. Ludlow. Oh, is that what it is? That's so blurred I couldn't make it out, Private Bliss. Why don't you take time to set up your tripod? If you've got a steady camera, you can get a better shot. Mr. Ludlow, Marion didn't have time. If it had been Mr. Ludlow, the bear would have told him when he was going to yawn. <laughs> Wasn't a shot like that worth a chance? A poor picture is as bad as no picture at all, Private Anderson. Often worse, because it may make you lose a chance to get a good picture. Just remember, think before you shoot. Don't put ideas in my head. Now, uh, any more questions? Yes, sir. Would you have taken a chance on getting that picture of the bear yawning even without a tripod? Well, I... Class is dismissed. <laughs> Private Bliss, I'd like uh, a word with you. Uh, yes, Mr. Ludlow? If you want to be a good photographer, you've got to learn to take criticism, honey. Don't call me honey. I'd like to know what any of us have gotten from you since we've been here. That's the only way to show you how to avoid making the same mistake twice, Private. Did it ever occur to you, Mr. Ludlow, that a little praise now and then might help, too? Oh, so that's it. You want me to praise you, hmm? 
It would be encouraging if I could think that at least one picture I've made isn't a total failure. Mm. Well, I must admit, you've made one very fine picture. Oh, have I? Mm. Uh, which one? The picture you make in that uniform, honey. Even I couldn't take a better one. What? Oh, of all the conceits! <laughs> hey, Marion, come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mail call. Mail. I can't stand the sound of the word. Men are all a bunch of egomaniacs, smug, unfeeling. Take it easy, girl. Oh. Different kind of mail. Look at the big box that came for you. Open it up and give. Oh, it's from your mother. Well, we've all been waiting here drooling, hoping it's another fruit cake. Oh, all right. Okay, come and get it. Oh, I'd like to mm. shove it down that guy's throat, box and all. <laughs> oh, don't let that Ludlow guy get you going, honey. Well, he treats us as though we're a bunch of backward children. I'd like to see some of the pictures Mr. Big takes. Take a look at this issue of Photo News. They've got a whole article on him. Oh, let's see. Yeah, listen to this. Don Ludlow, one of America's outstanding news photographers, added another prize to his growing collection with this shot, which won him his third page one award. Oh, for heaven's huh. sake, cut the cake before you read us the whole thing. I'm starving to death and you read a magazine. Oh, oh, I I'm sorry, kids. Well, here, dig in, everybody. Oh, thanks, Mary. <laughs> Gee. Gee, the Army does pretty well by us, doesn't it? Getting a big shot like Ludlow to teach us photography. Big shot. He's big in the head. I think he's cute. He sort of looks like Gregory Peck. Oh, Alma, sometimes I think your taste is all confined to your mouth. Attention. Oh. Lieutenant Acosta. <laughs> Daddy, this is an unofficial visit. Uh, I was just over talking to Mr. Ludlow. He told me how well you're all getting along. Well, I'm proud of you, and I wanted to tell you so. He said some of you seemed a little discouraged, but there was no reason for it. Oh, fruitcake. Wow, well, nice. Uh, my mother sent it, Lieutenant. Uh, won't you have some? Uh, thank you, Private, please. Uh, by the way, what do you hear from Korea? Isn't your brother about due for leave? He's on his way home now. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, that is wonderful. Well, I have to dash now. I'm due at a staff meeting in eight minutes. Uh, uh, by the way, the General's having some special guests at inspection tomorrow. I know you'll do me proud. <laughs> okay, hey, oh. Oh. Gee, nice girl, that lieutenant. Imagine her remembering about my brother. Uh, wasn't it nice of her to tell us what Ludlow said? She must have come right over. Mm, maybe he's not so bad after all. <laughs> maybe not. And you know, you might be right, Alma. He does look a little like Gregory Peck. Especially in the picture they used of him in the magazine. And I think if you'd use your range finder control instead of guessing, Betty, you'd find it would pay. Yes, sir. Oh, Alma, for the love of Mike, you forgot to pull out the slide on that shot. Oh, good heavens. I guess I'll never learn. I never seem to remember to do all the things. I always forget one. <laughs> well, it has to become automatic. Well, let's see how your camera's set now, Alma. Ah, good girl. That should be perfect. Uh, professor? Hmm? I don't want to bother you, but uh, would you do me a favor? Yes, of course, Marion. What? Well, w would you take a picture of me to send to my mother? Sure, I'd be glad to. You ready? Uh -huh. Now, hold it. Got it? Uh, professor? Huh? I think you'd better take that one again if you want it to come out. Uh, you hadn't used your camera yet today, and your lens was still capped. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell Alma. I guess I was too interested in what I had in the viewer. What? You. And that's the way it went for the full 12 weeks course. Then Don left Monmouth for his old job in the New York Chronicle. And a week later, Marion graduated and was assigned to the Public Information Office in Fort Jay on Governor's Island, New York. Her boss, Captain Adams, thinks she's a whiz. Said she took the best picture of President Eisenhower he'd seen. Don had seemingly passed out of her life and vice versa. Until one day, the chief called him into his office. Ludlow! Huh? I got an assignment for you. Penn Station, a trainload of movie stars are due in to kick off a big defense bond drive this week. Oh, no. An artiste sent to shoot cheesecake? Honestly, Chief, you just don't appreciate my talent. What's wrong with cheesecake when it's Rita Hayworth, huh? Oh, well, nothing in the world, Chief. Take it all back, not a thing. 
Hey, you know, I'm a sucker for red hair. So maybe you'll be eager enough to get some pictures back here in time for the first edition, for a chain. I always do. Oh, sure, sure. On my honor as a Boy Scout, I'll be back in a flash with the flashes. You'd better. Miss Hayward, uh, Rita. Hold it a minute, Rita. Oh, hey, you shoved Every me. man for himself, lady. Oh. Just one more, glamour puss. Thanks, Rita. Well, of all the rude, you men are... I'm sorry. Oh, hi, it's you. Don Ludlow, that great man in person. Yeah, what are you doing here? I was trying to get a picture until you shoved me out of the way. <laughs> well, you got to learn to shove back, kid. Here, I'll show you. Okay, out of the way, bud. Move over. Give the little lady a chance. Now you can get a clear shot. Uh, got it. Oh, and thanks. Hey, uh... You stationed around here? Uh-huh, Fort J. Uh, we can't talk here. How about dinner? Well, I, I'd like that. All right, I'll meet you at 7.30, pick you up. Give me your address. The chief is probably getting a horse yelling for you by now. Enjoying yourself, kid? Mm. Ah, it's a wonderful town when you're with the right person. There are more things you can do. Do you like the music hall? Oh, it was wonderful, Don. It was a good show. Mm. Whoever thought there would be a place like this in the middle of New York, on top of a hotel where you can dance outdoors under the stars? <laughs> I can hardly believe I'm here. I can hardly believe you are either. But I'm not pressing my luck. I'll just accept it. But you're not all here at that. What's the matter? Oh, well, I, I'm having a wonderful time, but I, uh, I keep thinking about those pictures for the bond drive. I've got the glimmering of an idea. Oh, here we go again. You know, Marion, you look like Miss America, but you've got a speed graphic built into your mind. <laughs> if I should tell you your eyes are beautiful, you'd tell me they were compensated viewers and automatic range finders. Now, look, you're out with a guy. I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> Silly. But it's your fault. You taught me how important range finders, viewers, light meters, shutter speeds and openings are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby, I know when I'm licked. For a minute, anyway. Now, what's the idea that's hammering at your mind and hampering my plans? I, um, I was trying to think of a picture that would be dramatic and, and at the same time show people just what their money goes for, the, hmm. the money they put into defense bonds. You've thought of one or you wouldn't be talking. <laughs> well, maybe it's been done. It's so simple, but I think it would be effective. Well, get on with it, honey. Well... Why not take a group of soldiers, li like the garrison at Fort Jay, for instance, mm -hmm. line them all up and spell out, buy U.S. defense bonds? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, you don't like it. No, I was thinking about it. I do. It's good. Simple. Gets its message across easily. What are you going to do with it? Well, I don't know. That's what I was asking you. I'm not sure what I think, except that... Right now, I can't think of anything except that PFC Marion Bliss is smiling oh, Don, at me. Don, I didn't think you'd notice. What? Oh, your promotion. Oh. <laughs> well, congratulations. But I'm not surprised, Marion. With your ability, I expect to see you go right up. I can see you... I'll take pictures of it. PFC Bliss, Corporal Bliss, <laughs> Sergeant Bliss, Lieutenant <laughs> Bliss, and Colonel hey, Bliss. Hey, wait a minute. You skipped a couple of grades in an awful hurry. I know. I got tired of waiting. So did you. Oh, I wish it were that fast. Th though I'm quite happy at the moment being a PFC. I'd uh, be even happier if you could find some way to use that picture idea. Ah, look, honey, I want to keep you happy, but couldn't we just forget about this screwball picture idea just for tonight? I told you I'd see the chief. <clears throat> Don Ludlow, you haven't changed a bit. Screwball picture idea. Just because you didn't think of it. Oh. You're the same egotistical, self-esteem genius that I first oh, met. Honey, hold on. I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to hold on to my temper. I'm getting out of here before I lose it. Before you lose it? Mary, honey, come back. Mary, I'm sorry. You are listening to the proudly we hail production, Portrait of a Soldier. We'll return in just a moment for the second act. Here's an opportunity for you young women of America, an opportunity to get in step with the smartest. Today, the rapidly expanding Women's Army Corps, proud newcomer on the team of defense, needs qualified young women between the ages of 18 and 34. This is your chance to do an important job. The pay is good with excellent prospect of rapid advancement. Why not check with your local United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station today? You'll find that it's easy to get in step with these proud American women who are serving their country in the Women's Army Corps. 
You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present the second act of Portrait of a Soldier. It didn't look as though Don and Marion would ever get together for her picture idea or anything else. And then Don had an idea. He went to his boss. Well, how about it, Chief? We get the okay? We got it, Don. They'll have all the men stationed at Fort J out in the parade ground tomorrow afternoon. As soon as your helicopter comes in sight, they'll fall into formation and spell out, buy U.S. bonds. And you'll get the picture. Good. That's a picture that should get into papers all over the country. Ought to sell a million bonds. Oh, hold on now, Lolo. Just one thing. Hmm? Just one thing. How did you ever get an idea for a picture to sell defense bonds? Well, I'll tell you, I had a dream in a nightclub one night. Remember that when you get an expense account voucher for two. How far do you think you can stretch my patriotism? Oh, uh, Captain Adams at Fort J, he's your contact, said the Army will give us full cooperation. Now out to that airport before that pilot starts charging us overtime. Well, Private Bliss, what do you think of the idea? Well, I think it's fine, Captain Adams. Good, good. You're the girl for it. I'm counting on you to see that the newspaper gets whatever help it needs to get the picture. Every soldier in the garrison who can be spared will be on that parade ground waiting for the helicopter to fly over. The Army was very pleased with the idea. Consider it an important job. Now, uh, Withers will take the Army pictures. You'll be the Army's liaison with a press photographer. You're to give him every assistance. Oh, don't worry. I will. Fine. Uh, they're sending Don Ludlow. He's one of the best men in New York, I hear. Oh. What's the matter? Don't you like him? I thought you knew him. That's why uh, I... He was my instructor at Monmouth. Well, good. You two should have plenty to talk about. Plenty. Now, the formation is called for 3 o'clock. You shouldn't have any trouble getting... Fine thing. You know how much time I'm wasting waiting for that character to show up? Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I don't know what could have happened to Mr. Ludlow. I called his office. They said he left a long time ago. Not that I'm minding too much, sister. It isn't often I get to wait with a girl as pretty as you. You know, that uh, uniform looks good on you. It looks good on every girl. That a girl. Stick up for your unit. But that photographer, he's crazy to keep a girl like you waiting. Of course, if he wasn't crazy, he wouldn't be a photographer, I'd say. I can assure you all photographers aren't crazy. Only this one? <laughs> okay, sister, don't get sore. Oh, I'm not sore at you, but this is ridiculous. Those troops are ready and waiting. The aerial camera is ready and waiting. You and your helicopter ready and waiting. Everybody's waiting for the great man, Don Ludlow. I wonder if he doesn't overestimate the power of the press or of his name. I never knew Ludlow to be this late. Oh, you've flown him before? Yeah, nice fella. Nice. Oh, he's impossible. He could have walked here in the time he's taken if his office was right about when he left. Maybe he ran out of gas or something. <laughs> Not unless he's driving some babe down a country road. Oh, so that's the kind of guy he is. I wouldn't be surprised at that. Uh, you must like this guy. You hate him so. Hate him? I wouldn't do him the honor. Well, this is all very interesting, but I was set to take off at 2.30, sister. If he's not here by 3.30, I'm leaving, ready or not. But, but you can't. The picture If Ludlow isn't here, that's his funeral. I've got other jobs. Where in the world do you think that newspaper photographer is, Captain Adams? I can't say, sir. I've called his office, sir. What time is it now? Uh, almost 3.30, sir. No, oh, this is too much. I can't keep these men out here in the hot sun all afternoon. No, sir. Do you want me to dismiss them, sir? I hate to keep these men waiting this way, Captain, but I would like to get that picture. I know just how you feel, sir. And I'd like to get my hands on that photographer, Captain. I'd like to help you if you do. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's just another plane going somewhere. Maybe Ludlow had motor trouble. Possibly. But he could have phoned or something. We'll wait ten more minutes, Captain. If he hasn't shown up by then, dismiss the men. Yes, sir. If I didn't think that would be a good picture... Hey, wait. Oh, there it is. Ah, at last. Company! Hey, hey, hey! All in! Well, they're well trained, Captain. Thanks. Remarkable things, those helicopters. Look at the way it hovers there. It didn't take them long once they got here. 
Huh? They must be all through. They're going away. Yes, sir. Oh, there you are, Ludlow. I was beginning to think you'd pull another fast one. Governor's Island was on the phone looking for you. So was someone at the airport. Glad you made it this time. I didn't. Uh, those pictures better be good. Huh? I didn't get there. You didn't get there? Say, what are you talking about? I couldn't make it. There was a fire. Couldn't make it? First Army promised us cooperation. They'll court-martial you and me, too. I wouldn't blame it. You, you mean no pictures? No pictures. I didn't get there. Oh, where in the world were you? Stopped off in some nice cool bar, I suppose. And forgot what time it was. Nope. Where I was, it was hot. Where I'd like to send you, it'll be hotter. The kind of people they give me to run a newspaper with. Well, what's the story this time? Well, I was in the Queen's Tunnel going out to the airport from here. Traffic got jammed up. I thought it was a traffic jam. Longest traffic jam I ever heard of. Well, the truck going through the tunnel caught fire. Stopped all the traffic. Couldn't go forward, couldn't get out until they got the fire out and towed the truck out. And that'll be a good story. You got pictures, of course. Of course. Well, that's something. Oh, oh ye gods, what'll I tell First Army? I get the whole army to do something for a picture and you... Now, oh, hold on! You get out of that helicopter right away, get those pictures. I'll call the general, have him hold his men till you get there. Uh-uh, it's too late now, Chief. Light's no good. Sun will be down by the time I get there. Take him by the light of a match, but get those pictures. The men will have been dismissed a long time ago. Let go! You're fired! Now, now, listen, Chief, there was a fire. Can't you understand? All I can understand is that I want a photographer who comes back with a picture when he goes out to get one. Well, maybe we can use the army picture. Call him up and see if they'll let us have a copy, but that doesn't excuse you. Yep. I'll be on the extension. Public information office, Captain Adams speaking. Hi, Captain, this is Don Ludlow. Oh, if you're calling for BFC Bliss, she's not back yet. Ludlow, I warned you. Uh, about the pictures today... Yes, uh... glad you called, Ludlow. The Colonel and I were about to wring your neck with our bare hands when your copter appeared, keeping those men out in the sun all that time. My what? Look, I got caught in the tunnel. A truck caught fire right in front of me. I told the Colonel it must have been some reason. A good thing you got there, though. He's quite interested in that picture. Thinks it's a good idea. Yeah, it was a good idea, all right. Say, uh, I wonder if you could let us have some copies. You were late coming. Our man with us was called off to do something else. We figured it didn't matter as long as you were going to take some. Knew you'd give us a few copies. Uh, we'd be glad to if we had any. If you had any what? Uh, there seems to be a crisis here. The chief will call you back later. Well, I tried. He just wouldn't understand. Nobody seems to understand you, Ludlow. I hope your new boss, if you ever get another job, which I doubt you will... Well, will... so long, Chief. It's been real nice. Come back here, you idiot! What, you mean I'm still with No, you? no! I mean leave the pictures of that tunnel fire. Oh, well, they're downstairs being developed. Uh, as a final favor, Chief, I'll go down and see if they're ready yet. I'll notify accounting. You can pick up your check tomorrow or have them mail it to you. <laughs> Um, they told me I'd find Mr. Ludlow here. Not anymore, you won't. Oh, he doesn't work here? Not for the last, uh, ten minutes, I'd say. I just fired him. Oh, you're his boss? I was. I feel like a free man now. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm Private Bliss of the Public Information Office at Fort James. Now, if you come about those pictures, he didn't take any. The blithering idiot can't even find his way across the East River. I came to bring you the pictures. What? Well, Captain Adams said Withers was called off, and Ludlow says he didn't get there. He didn't. I did. Well, you're beginning to look as though you came from heaven. <laughs> well, not from that high. Only a helicopter. How come you got the pictures when Ludlow didn't? Well, uh, when your pilot and I realized Mr. Ludlow wasn't going to arrive, we just flew over and got the shots anyway. Well, this I've got to tell Ludlow. He can't even get to the airport, and a slip of a girl goes up and takes the picture. Well, that isn't anything, sir. Every WAC gets photographic training in aerial photography. Uh, Chief, those fire pictures are... Oh. Hello, Marion. Ludlow, this young lady got the bond pictures and saved our necks. I want you to meet a photographer who can use her head as well as a camera. We've met. Yes. Uh, Chief, this is the dream I told you I had at the nightclub. Nice dreaming, boy. Your taste's improving. Uh, well, this was her idea, that bond picture. 
Confession is supposed to be good for the soul, Mr. Ludlow. Well, your idea, your pictures. If you ever leave the service, I want you to work for me. I can always use a good photographer. Hey, what are you doing, Ludlow? Calling Captain Adams. Seeing credit is given where credit is due. Public information office, Captain Adams. Hi, Captain. This is Don Ludlow again. Crisis is over. Oh, good. Now, how about those pictures? Well, I was trying to tell you. I never got out to the airport. But Private Bliss used her head, took my pilot and helicopter when I didn't show up. She took the pictures. Oh, good. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Look, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't me. It was Private Bliss using her head over and beyond the call of duty or something. Well, that's wonderful. Tell her she doesn't have to report back to the office now. Thanks. Oh, and uh, tell her I'm proud of her. <laughs> I will. So am I. I'll be seeing you. Well, Don, I... And I thought you were the most conceited man. He is. A nice girl like you shouldn't have anything to do with him. Oh, that's what I keep telling myself. Yeah, yeah, but... I know. It's like the way I fire him. Then he gets a lucky break and comes in with a spot picture while someone else covers the picture he should have had. Hey, where are those fire pictures, Ludlow? Still downstairs. I decided if I was fired, you could run your own errands. I was telephoning... You a... mean you made a phone call not from this office? Can't believe it. I was calling Bannon at the Globe. Uh, what did he say? Well, I ought to tell you, he offered me a job and a $10 raise over what I get here. But I can't. He wasn't in. Okay, I know when I'm licked. You're back on the payroll. Now, stop loitering, Ludlow. Get downstairs and help Brownie get those bond pictures developed. Okay, Chief. Come on, honey. You were assigned to this job. Want to help me and Brownie? Well, how far can my duty take me? Well, Captain Adams says you don't have to go back to the island this afternoon. And besides, you were told to cooperate with the paper. That's me in every way possible. Well, of all the conceited... Is that really what you think of me? No. No. I'm afraid I think you're pretty special. Get out of here! I got a paper to get out. <laughs> Come along, honey. You heard the boss. Yes, sir. And that's the story of Portrait of a Soldier, the million-dollar picture... Because one of the pictures PFC Marion Bliss took was credited with selling a million dollars worth of defense bonds. So, proudly we hail PFC Marion Bliss and the other hard-working, devoted girls in the Women's Army Corps. Young woman, how about your future? Does it include an interesting and important job? A job that will take you to the exciting places of the world, places where tomorrow's history is being made today. Right now, young women like yourself are urgently needed to serve their country in the Women's Army Corps. Here's your opportunity to secure your future. Go to your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station and get all the facts today. <laughs> This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army and United States Air Force Recruiting Service. This is Kenneth Banghart speaking and inviting you to tune in the same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>